Hello friends, Dan from On One here, back with another sneak peek of features that are coming new for you in Photo Raw 2025 very soon. Today I want to show you about another filter that we've added to effects, and it's the Edit Color Filter. Now there's a lot of color filters in effects. This one's job is specific. It's for targeting very narrow ranges of color and being able to make modest corrections to them. It's perfect for selecting skin and making adjustments to skin or other regions. Let me show you how it works here. I'm inside of effects. I'm gonna click on the add filter button and I'll add the edit color filter. When it appears, you'll see a color wheel in the middle, but it's not gonna show any colors yet. The first thing you have to do is pick the color range that I want to adjust. So you'll grab the dropper tool and you'll click in your photo on a color you want to adjust. In this case, I wanna take the red apple in the foreground, which has a lot of yellow and orange uh, component to it. I don't wanna make it more red, more delicious looking. So I'm just gonna sample in one of the orangey red colors. There we go. Now you'll see that color appear right here inside this pie piece on the color wheel. And this shows me the range of colors that it has selected. To make it easier, and this is really important, to let you see the colors, click on the little eyeglasses. That'll enable a visualized mode where the photo goes black and white except for the color that you're going to adjust. And you can see how it got most of the reds, but there's quite a bit back here on the back side with the more yellow portion that it didn't get. So watch what I can do. I can grab these outer controls, these dots on the color wheel, and I can increase the color range that it's going to pick. So I can just grab this, and if I move it to the left, you'll see how it now picks up more of those colors. And I can keep moving that until I get to the point where, oh no, now it's starting to pick up too much of those green apples. Well, now I just bring it back to the point where I'm getting the right balance. So now I'm able to pick almost all of the red apple in the foreground and picking up almost none of the green apples in the background. Then when I've got my selection dialed in, I'll turn the visualize option off and now I'll use the sliders at the bottom to make my adjustment. In this case, I wanna shift it to be more red. So I'm gonna move the hue slider to the right. It's gonna make it more red. I'm gonna increase the saturation. I'm gonna bring down the lightness. I really want to make that apple bright red. There we go. Let me turn it on and off so you can see the difference. Before and after. Before and after. And then without having to create any masks, without having to brush anything, I was able to do it all just using the edit color filter and its amazing, very precise color range selection. Let me show you on a couple other photos. With this one, we want to select the red of the dress and make an adjustment to its hue. So I'll, again, click on add filter, select edit color. I'll grab the dropper tool and I'm just going to sample on the dress. There we go. Let's turn on visualize color so I can see what I'm getting. And let's zoom in a little bit here. Ah, so you notice in this case, it's done a pretty darn good job of picking the dress, but it's also got some of her flesh in there too, because there's a red component to the flesh. Well, I don't want it to pick the flesh. I really just want to pick the red of the dress. Well, there's two different ways that you can manage that color. You can manage the hue angle, how many colors left to right it's going to pick. So we kind of showed you this on the last one. I can move these in a little bit, and that will help pick less of the yellows just like that, or I can grab at the bottom or the top to adjust the saturation range as well. So on a photo like this, I'm dealing with a very saturated red. I don't wanna pick any of the unsaturated reds. So I just move to the inside where it's less saturated and I move the tail out. And now, voila, you look how it's taken all of the color off of her hands and it's only picking just the red of the dress. May have gone a little too far. I'm just gonna back that back up just a little bit here till I get a nice balance. Now we'll turn the visualize off and now I can adjust the dress without affecting anything else in the scene. So I can shift its color. I want it to be a little bit more towards the orange side and we'll bring its saturation and its lightness down to really make that red pop. Let's go back so we can see the full photo and I'll turn it on and off so you can see before and after. So it really lets you target those very specific colors and make adjustments. I'll keep showing you a couple more while we're here. In this photo, I wanna pick kind of her red hair and the freckles in her skin, because I really like them and I want them to pop even more. So we'll click on Add Filter, Edit Color again. I'm gonna grab the dropper, and I'll just sample the color from her hair. Now, just in doing that, if I turn the Visualize on, you'll see how it's done a pretty good job of picking the hair and just the hue of the freckles on her face. And I can fine tune that even more with the techniques that I've already shown you guys. It's missed a little bit of her hair up here where there's a bit of a branch going across it 
adding a little bit more yellow, less red. So I'm just going to grab this wing and we'll pull it out until it picks all those areas. If I don't want to get too much into the greens, I'm going to stop right about there where I get more of the hair, just a tiny bit of the greens. And I can actually do the same thing. Let's broaden it up a little bit into the reds to make sure I get all of the reds in her skin too. There we go. Now we'll just turn off the visualize and we'll adjust the hue so that her hair and those freckles become even more red. Just like that. Let's look at a before and after. Before and after. Just helps make those pop out even more. Here's one more example. I find it really useful. It's the uh, golf course uh, example where I want to select grass, which actually has a lot of yellow in it and make it look more green. Or in this case, I've got a lot of uh, moss on the forest floor that is pretty yellow. So we'll do the same thing to pick it and make it look more green. I'll just grab my dropper tool. I'll sample one of those yellowish colors, yellow green. You can see it's pretty yellow actually. We'll turn on the visualize so we can see what we're getting. Wow, I did a pretty good job. It's getting just the foreground that I care about. I might go just a little bit wider. There we go. And then let's shift the hue to the left to make it more green. Might as well give it a little boost while we're at it here too. There we go. Let's take a look at the before and after. Before and after. And it really just affects the yellow portion of the photo and doesn't affect the other areas. It's a great way to target a very precise, very specific color range and make adjustments to it to either match what the original should look like or to tune it to your own artistic taste. All right, there you go. That's the new edit color filter coming to you in Photo Raw 2025. Thanks for watching.